you're probably using AI like fancy Google search. And that, my friends, is costing you over 35 hours every week. I wanted to find out what are the top five prompts that save busy professionals time every week. So I got my deep research partners, ChatGPT, Gemini and Claude to help me figure out which ones are the most effective. They each gave me different recommendations, so I asked AI again to rank them based on how effective they are. And they came back with these five prompts, which could save you 35 plus hours every week, which is essentially four work days every week. So prompt number one is a document compression engine. So here's the problem. You're draining in long reports, legal documents, long email threads, but you can't actually find the information that is really important to you and the information that you actually need. In reality, most professionals spend about two hours every day trying to extract information from longer documents. So this prompt is a really good way to turn a long document into an actionable insight for you. Let's have a look at the prompt. You're my document compression engine. You give context. I need to quickly understand this 15 page vendor contract and identify what I need to act on. So give whatever context you need here. Do this, extract the three to five most important points, list any action items, if it's relevant, highlight key decisions or conclusions, if relevant, flag questions or issues that need my attention, and then rate confidence level for each point. Keep it under 200 words total with clear sections, and then you can just attach your document here. Okay, and here you get the top five points very clearly listed out. We don't have to read the 15 pages in total. And the way the prompt is structured is that it tells you what we need to do. It also gives us the key decisions and questions to flag. And this is really helpful for looking through a long document. With this prompt, you can frame it however suits your documents best. But essentially what you wanna do is take the most important information from a long document and make it relevant to what you need to do immediately. And for those who read documents regularly, this can save 10 plus errors every week. The second prompt type is a dynamic communication composer. Communications is an important part of any job, so this can help all knowledge workers. Oftentimes you can be left staring at a blank email for 20 minutes or not knowing what to post on your profile. In fact, most professionals spend over two hours every day writing emails, posts, and messages. So the solution here is instant drafts written exactly how you want them. Again, let's do an example prompt. You are my dynamic communication composer. The context, I need to write a professional email to a client about a project delay, but I want to maintain trust and provide clear next steps. The context will change depending on what you're writing. And then you tell it what you want to draft. Draft an email, the tone is professional but apologetic. Include these key points, new timeline, reason for delay, what we're doing to prevent future delays, next steps for the client. Give the audience, this is a long-term client. And the length, medium, 150 to 200 words. Then again, give a bit more background context. So here we talked about a team member being out sick, which pushed back our design review. Similarly, you could attach documents or other emails to give that context. And then within seconds, you get your first draft. Now, obviously this isn't the perfect thing you would send, you would need to review yourself, but we're at least getting to the 60 to 70% of our first draft, saving us about 20 minutes trying to draft this email. And you can apply this to all your communications. In fact, if you have communications that you do on a consistent basis, you can save the prompt and the context so it helps the next time you're doing it. Similarly, you could do this with a custom GPT or an agent so you don't have to give as much context each time. I use this pretty much five to 10 times daily and it's a real time saver for me. If you're already seeing yourself using these prompts, please make sure to subscribe. My goal is to make you more productive using AI in your workflow and I'll share videos every week. So make sure to join me on this journey. But for now, moving on to prompt three, a weekly planning coach. Every week starts with really good intentions, but sometimes it ends up with missed deadlines or delayed tasks and that feeling that you haven't accomplished what you wanted to. The time reality of this is that you can lose up to an hour every day with context switching, poor planning, and just not knowing where you should be focusing your time. The solution here is using AI to prioritize your week and block time so you can get your priorities done. You are my weekly planning coach. The context, I have a busy week ahead. I need to organize everything so nothing falls through the cracks. Process like this, review any calendar, task list, or schedule a share. So this can be a screen grab of your calendar if you like, or if you have a task list or schedule that's easier to share, you can share whichever format suits you. And then ask me these key questions. What are your top three priorities this week? What deadlines are non-negotiable? When do you do your best, most focused work? What tasks do you tend to avoid? What would make this week feel successful? I want you to create a priority ranking, time block schedule, and success metrics to review on Friday, and then format it for whatever calendar system I use. So my current schedule and tasks. So I'm just gonna share a screen grab of a calendar. And then you have the questions that are asked, just pop them in to give the model a better sense of what you wanna do. Once you give that context, 
The model will give you an exact priority list of what you need to do. It will also suggest time block schedule based on how you like to work. You can see here it tells me when is the best time for me to work. And finally, some success metrics so I can review at the end of the week. And if you want, the AI will put it in the format that you want. This should eliminate the Sunday scaries and it'll probably give you back around five hours per week on unplanned work. Prompt type four is a decision framework assistant. You probably don't realize it, but you actually spend loads of time trying to make decisions every week. These could be small decisions to really, really big decisions. And oftentimes what delays decisions is having the right information structured in a way that makes it easy for you to decide what you wanna do. And this can cost professionals around one hour a day in decision paralysis or regretting what you have decided on. The solution here is a prompt that helps you create a structured analysis to make confident decisions. You are my decision framework assistant. The example here I'm gonna use is trying to choose between three candidates for a marketing manager position. Here is the decision process. So clarify decision criteria and constraints I have mentioned, the street five realistic options, weighted evaluation criteria, score each option with pros, cons, and risks. Give me a clear recommendation with confidence level and then highlight any important factors that might be missing. And then you have to give context on the decision you're facing. So I've got three candidates. See here, candidate A, five years experience, candidate B, eight people skills, candidate C, and then just a bit of context on the budget. So give as much context as you can here to help get a better decision framework. Sometimes you might need to go back and forth and give more context. And as you can see here, the model is given a very logical explanation as to how it is thinking about prioritizing these candidates. It's given the weighted evaluation criteria. You can change this as you like. And it's scored the candidates based on the context that we've given. The model is given a clear recommendation with candidate B edging out slightly with 290 points, but it also flags important factors that you might be missing. This is important so we have all the context that we need to make the right decision. It's also a great way to think outside of elements that you haven't thought about for any decision. So this decision framework can be helpful for the small decisions, like choosing a restaurant, and the big decisions, like a major business investment. So I estimate that to be around roughly six hours saved per week with that prompt. The final prompt type, prompt number five, is the 80-20 learning accelerator. In this day and age, we're expected to learn loads of new skills constantly, and it can be hard to give that much time to learning everything. And most times when you're learning, you actually spend a lot of time learning things you don't need to learn. When you look at common courses, oftentimes you just need to look at the five minutes of the eight hour long course to get the skill that you need. And this can obviously waste a lot of time. The average professional pretty much needs to learn something new every month. But unfocused learning can waste about eight hours every week. Our solution here is a prompt that focuses on the vital 80% of a skill that you need using only 20% of the time. So you are my 80-20 learning accelerator. Context, I need to learn advanced Excel functions for my role in data analysis, but I only have three hours per week and need practical skills first. My current level is intermediate. I know basic formulas and pivot tables. So you can obviously put in whatever skill you need here and give a bit more context. Create a focused learning plan. Identify the 80% of the skill that can be learned in 20% of the time. List the essential skills I must practice first. Recommend the top three learning resources. Worry about common beginner mistakes to avoid. Set clear progress milestones. Build a realistic weekly plan for the next three days. And give me one quick exercise to test my understanding. Specifically what I want to learn, advanced Excel functions, including VLOOKUP, index match, array formulas and data visualization techniques. With that, it's given me the 80-20 breakdown, what gives the fastest ROI. It shows me some of the formulae I need to learn, which ones I should practice, some of the top three learning resources, common beginner mistakes to avoid, progress milestones, and even gives a 30-day weekly plan. I actually use this method to help me learn video editing in a very quick amount of time. Whether it's new software, presentation skills, or industry knowledge, this is a really good way for you to learn something very quickly. And not only does that save you around eight hours a week, it also just makes you way more skilled. So in summary, let's see how much time we've saved on a weekly basis. So with document compression, that's about 10 hours a week. For the communication composer, that's six hours a week. The weekly planning coach, it's about five hours a week. The decision framework, six hours per week. And then the learning accelerator is eight hours per week. So in total, that's about 35 hours per week. If you look at a 40 hour week, that's over four days that you have saved using these prompts. Now, I understand not all those prompts will be relevant for everyone, but you still should be able to save some time using them where applicable for your role. So here's what I do right now. Choose the most valuable prompt out of those five and try and apply it to your work immediately. I'll leave all the prompts in the description so you can copy and paste them and then just add the context that you need for your role. 
Let me know how it goes and tell me in the comments which prompt saved you the most time. If you found this helpful, please subscribe as I share more AI productivity tips every week. I'll see you in the next video.